In this video tutorial from MacBinder.com, we'll be going over Apple's automated backup application called Time Machine. Time Machine will automatically back your files to an Apple Time Capsule, an external drive, or a file share on your local network. It won't let you back up to an iPod, an iDisk, or a drive connected to an Airport Extreme base station. For Time Machine to work, you must first start and configure it within System Preferences. Open System Preferences either from the dock or through the Apple menu. Next, open the Time Machine Preference menu. To enable Time Machine, you must have an external drive connected to your system. This menu will list drives available for Time Machine Backup. Select your desired drive and choose Use for Backup. By default, Time Machine will try to back up your entire system. There are certain files you might want to exclude to keep your backup size down. As an example, we'll select the Options button. Select the Plus button to remove an item from backup. We'll exclude the System File directory by highlighting the System folder and selecting the Exclude button. When you are done excluding your files, select Done. You also have the choice of placing an icon for a time machine on the menu bar by selecting this checkbox. From here you can quickly check your latest backups, backup now, and enter time machine preferences. In the next tutorial from MacBinder.com, we'll cover using time machine to restore your data.